decide on which kind of resource to use really based on what the learning outcome is and then what's the quality of what's out there. Uh, if we can find high quality, um, you know, that's free and open or attribution only, then we'll use it. If we, we can't find a resource for free or attribution that is um, not matching the learning outcome, then we'll look to have the teachers create, and then if they feel like that's still falling short, then we'll look to purchase. We have what we call essential standards in our curriculum that are, um, we deconstruct them or unwrap them, that's just a teacher term, but we unwrap them to what the learning targets are for the students, and then what does the success, if a student understands or is able to know or do what that learning target is asking, um, what does that what does that look like? So we try to find resources that are directly tied to meet the needs of achieving that learning target. So sometimes it's a, an adaptive game, sometimes it's a worksheet, sometimes it's a video. It really is teams of teachers, our professional learning communities that teach those courses. It really is, it really are those teachers doing that work. So we have had instructional coaches weigh in on this. We have content coordinators uh, that do some of the heavy lifting as well. So really just aligning those folks together um, are really, again, it's that collective decision making between you know, the folks that are in the trenches, in the classroom, who don't necessarily always have um, you know, a surplus of time to do some of this work, um, but yet their position in the classroom is so key. So in collaboration with coordinators and coaches who do have um, some time to sort of plug in on that. Um, that's, that's been something that seems to have worked in making those decisions for us. Um, one of the worst things we could do is just go randomly search and look for something to teach and then give it to the students. We really have to have, be thoughtful about this. We have to know where do we want our students to be by the end of the, either the unit, the month, the week, the year, or through the progression of pre-K-12. And in California, we're using Common Core, so we're looking at the standards that, at this point. But we're not just looking at the Common Core standards, we're looking, I, I personally promote the ISTE standards, the ELD standards, and other standards so that we're having, we, the students are coming out with a full repertoire of, of content.